Hey guys, I'm James. I'm a primary education student here at the University of Brighton and I'm going to show you my day-to-day -day life here at the uni. Oh, thank you very much. I'm just relaxing here at The Hive, which is a bar and cafe that's run by the Students' Union. And we've got a pool table. We've also got a microwave, which is really handy for lunches, to put it in the microwave. Um, and yeah, so once I finish this, my favourite drink, chai tea latte, I'll give you a tour of the campus. Hive, it's where I had my chai tea latte, my favourite drink. And um, here we've got the Student Union shop, so that's really handy for your necessities. They've got stationery and folders and things, and some medicine as well. So if you need any essentials, that's the place to go. And then uh, just over here, behind the Hive, we've got the Amex Stadium, which is where Brighton Football Club pay, play their football. Um, and also that's where we have our Freshers' Fair. So um, it goes along the whole floor and it, takes, it took me two to three hours just to get through it. Um, and it's really great because you get to meet all the sports societies, all the other clubs that we've got going on. There's such a range of things to do. Um, yes, yeah, so it's just a really great way to just meet new people as, as, as you start uni. So every Monday outside Checker, we've got our food market, which uh, means we've got vegan food, we've got Greek food, um, some bakery goods, and yeah, you get tea and coffee as well. So it's a really nice place just to come on a Monday to get some fresh food. And if you follow me up these steps, we've got another option to eat on campus as well, West Lane House. Um, and in here, we've got a downstairs cafe called The Living Room. Um, and that's where they do like sandwiches and things that you can eat. And then upstairs is the main restaurant area. And if you live on campus here and you're catered, that's where you can eat your breakfast and your dinner meals. Um, so for, for dinner, they do three course meals which is really nice and they always have vegetarian and a vegan option as well. So this is the Checkland building and as, as a primary education student this is where we have most of our seminars and we've got a really nice floor called the Open Learning Centre and I'm going to show you what that looks like and all the different resources we've got up there but yeah it's a really just it's a lovely area to be and especially if you're an education student. And also I love these revolving doors as well. Have a little bit of a push. my favourite part about the whole uni is this floor. So um, as soon as you walk in, you're hit with like displays. We've got children's literature over here um, and it's displayed here. So they've got a whole, whole display on Nick Sharrett's books. Um, and it's just really handy if you're interested in any sort of children's literature just to have a look and, and get inspired. I've been here all day, I've worked up a bit of an appetite, I'm quite hungry now. So um, there's a free bus in five minutes. If you come along, I can make us some dinner. Okay, so we're just about to get on the free bus, which runs every hour. All you need to do is scan your student card and then you can get straight on and it goes into the centre of town, as well as the Molescombe Campus, Grand Parade and Varley Park. Welcome to my house. Come on in. Here we have the living room. Quite nice size. Quite nice just to like relax and eat some dinner at the end of the day. Yeah, watch a film or something. In terms of cooking and stuff, I have to try and find things because I'm quite busy going out for corporal practices and with my course and um, being on placement as well. I have to find dinners that are quite quick to cook. One of my favourites is frozen fajita mix. It's really nice. So basically all you have to do is just open it up put it in the pan um, and it takes about 10 minutes and also because it's quite a lot and what I tend to do is I tend to box some up for lunch tomorrow and that's what I try and do with all my cooking actually I try and make more than what I need for dinner just because then I've got some for lunch the next day. Okay so here we have the finished product. So put it in a nice tortilla wrap, not too much because I want to save some for lunch tomorrow, just like that. 
And then I'll just do my folding technique once across, twice. Oh, lovely. Wait a second, I'm about to have my chill time, so I'm going to kick you out. And I'll see you tomorrow for our tour of the city. Bye!